Y'all, just uh, welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Ooh, <laughs> listen, before we get into it good, we want to thank all of you all that have made it all the way through the Power Book series, um, yeah. Raising Canaan. We appreciate y'all. Y'all the real MVPs. Yes, indeed. But if y'all want to continue to be real MVPs, y'all check out these shirts, though. Check, yeah, check, check, yeah, check, check. yeah. Listen, I'm not for everybody. I'm not for everybody. If y'all, and listen, what's this one say? Good things come, come to, to those, those who hustle. hustle. Yes, indeed. Yes, Go indeed. Go ahead. We're going to leave a link below with a discount code so that you can take save some money off of your Power and Black t-shirts. Y'all yeah. already know. And y'all been ordering them up. We heard. Yes, indeed. But anyway, let's get into Power Book 3, Episode 10. Paid, paid in freaking full, man. Before we get started, mm. also I want to say I want to say shout outs to all the actors in Power Book Three Canaan this season. Y'all was acting y'all tail off, especially Juke. That was a Juke um, is on especially it. Especially Canaan, Rock was doing her thing. Yeah. Luke, all of y'all, man, y'all was y'all did y'all thing. Yeah, I know a lot of people doubted y'all in the beginning of the season. Was like, what the heck is going on? Is we gonna be down with this? And and y'all y'all I. I in spite of until the you know last three four episodes when it really really gave us the power punch like we really wanted, right. but other than that, man, y'all y'all did a phenomenal job, phenomenal job. Yes, y'all did. Because in my opinion, Lulu can do no wrong. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Lulu <laughs> shot and killed a whole teenager, and for some, we've been able to ration rationalize yeah. that as he's still a good dude. Yep. That's how much you know that they 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 some good actors. Yes, indeed. That lets you know. So, season finale, we, we pick back up where we left off uh, last episode where Kanan is still standing over Detective Howard. And we can see that he did not take the third shot. We was wondering if he took the third shot. I thought he did. His mama told him two to the chest, one to the head. Wonder where he think. But I guess when you get into the real with the real real... You know, all that skit goes out the window and you just in the moment and you just got to do what you got to do to get over. So that's basically what Kanan did when he shot Detective Howard. We saw that some car alarms went off. Some people was like, somebody out here shooting. And so he got hysterical and he took off running. And the same crackhead. <laughs> Come on. You know I do it. The same crackhead from a few episodes ago saw his tail. But we was wondering if the crackhead really saw his face. I think the crackhead just only saw like the, the side, side of his face. But he definitely saw Unique's jacket. Which we knew from last week that was Rock's plan is to frame Neek for the killing of the detective. So we had saw later on in the episode, since we talking about the crackhead, was <laughs> the police had rolled up on him, was like, you know, what he looked like, you know, and the crackhead was like, I think he was tall, I think he was, he was short, short. I, he, he might have looked like me, but he had his jacket with these words on it, man. They were like, what the words say? I don't know. I was, I was hiding in a Jewish say a Georgia, Georgia Pine. Pine. <laughs> I don't understand why cops ask people like that to give you details. About stuff. I Even mean, a sober person. Yeah. Cannot read back to you all the details that they are asking you for. Right. So I'm like. No. Nah. And that's what my thing was. I was like. Are they going to take this seriously from this crackhead? But you start hearing the same story once, twice, three times. Yeah. Like, ding, ding, ding. Yeah. So they went on and took him in. So we saw Kanan, you know, running hysterical, trying to get away. He fell down, busted up his hands. So he ended up going to, to the river. And uh, throwing throwing a gun like Rod had told him to do. And so he was standing in the corner waiting to be picked off from Uncle Marvin. So when the truck rolled up, <laughs> was he like, was like, and we was like that too. We was like, who is that? Is, did Neek them guys figure out what was going on? They was coming to get him that quick? That's what I thought. But it was our boy Scrap. Scrap said, nigga, why don't you come and get in this car? And I was like, <laughs> boy, you healed up fast. Got yes. your patch. Got his patch on his eye. Y'all said, yeah, it was so good to see old Scrap though. So uh, he get in the car, and Kanan was like, hey, you, you, you know what I did? He was like, I don't know, and I don't want to know. That's, that, you. that's your work. That ain't, that ain't my work. My work. I said I like that. But he was like, Uncle Mom was supposed to come pick me up. He was like, I don't keep no no navigations or, or where people at or keep people scared. This is my assignment. This is my assignment right here. So we see that later on in the episode, <laughs> that they had met up with Rock. And uh, by this time, uh, 
Scrap and found out exactly what Kanan had did. Because at that point, when he got in the truck, he didn't, he didn't know. know that he had shot Detective Howard. But when he found out, he was like, Rob, you know what? I'm down for whatever. You know, I'm a soldier in these streets. You know, I do what you want me to do. But this skit here, this is on a whole no level. You matter of fact, you need to get my skit squeaky clean. Cause this now, this, now cause this can't this can't trace back to me. Cause she was trying to give him ten minutes. He yeah, was like, like no, no, I no. don't even got ten minutes. I really thought she was gonna pop him though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, but <laughs> before that, we need to talk about Uncle Marvin and what uh, Uncle Marvin said to Scrap. Oh Lord, Lord. <laughs> Because, like we said, Uncle Marvin was supposed to have been the one that picked Kanan up. Yeah. But Uncle Marvin ended up having to get him and do, like, the kind of look. Like, something, something had went on, and they met up. <laughs> <laughs> and Uncle Marvin ended up telling um, Scrap, listen, I know that we were supposed to do like this, but my sister needed me on an assignment that required oh, yeah. two, two eyes. eyes. Two good eyes. Peripheral vision, you know what I mean? <laughs> Like F you, you F you, Marvin. <laughs> I was like, y'all ain't had to do him like that. So by this time, we see man, the block is getting hot. Cops are oh, every, hot. every freaking well. Uncle Marvin had told Kanan and Scrap said when Five O loses one of their own, they own, they, they own it. And we see they was blocking off every it, uh, place that you can try to get out of the city. They had it blocked off. They was pulling ninjas out of apartment buildings, getting people off the corners. Matter of fact, it asked one guy was like, who is unique? Unique? Who? I, I, don't, I, don't, know. Know. I don't know no unique. <laughs> Hell, we need to start doing that when they start popping ours. Right. Block they A's in on every corner. So, they was, uh, so, Kanan and uh, Rock was at uh, Uncle Lou's house. He was like, why are we at Uncle Lou's house? He was like, they never going to double back and check a crime scene that they just left. I was like, oh, I didn't That's know what? that. <laughs> I, I had no idea. So, yeah. but anyway. And it's burnt up. So. Yeah, but anyway. So, they in there getting fixed up and she asked him, hey, did you do what I said? Yeah. She yeah. said, I, I cleaned the barrel of the gun out. I broke it apart. Threw it in the river. How many times you shot him? Three. Three. She said, Good. Uh, Maybe two. Maybe two. She was like, was it three or two? I don't know, mama. I just did. I, he did. He gone. He, he is gone. gone, gone. And I was like, here we go again. Nobody listens to Rock's instruction. The only one I have come through perfectly with a killing is Lou. Is Lou that he didn't want to do. Yeah, he didn't want to do that. <laughs> nah, Luke did not want to. So she got him all cleaned up, got him over to the, the store to over the there. Bodega. Yeah, uh, the bodega over at the store. Got old girl to lock them up. They got the story straight. Like, okay, if they come in here, uh, don't get them the security tape real quick. Just, you know, make, make, them, them, make, them. make them work for it. And so had him locked up in the back. Uh, and so uh, uh, who came first? Uh, Actually, the cops came first. Yeah. No, no I'm thinking about when he had grabbed the hammer. Was it Juke? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Juke, Juke, had, yeah. Juke was the first one that had came and visited him. In, in, you know, in lockup. That's what I'm going to say. In lockup at the stove. And this part was very powerful because Juke really laid it on him thick. She read him with the truth. She laid him thick. But before we did that, you can remember that Juke was actually coming to bring him clothes because he had left the clothes and stuff, clothes and, and money car. inside a scrap car, you know. And I said, well, how did Juke get him? So or was they other clothes? I think Rock Rock had told him told her to go get those clothes, and I guess Rock gave it to him. So we gonna fill it in. So yeah, and uh, detective the lady cop I can't even think of. Uh, I already Burt. say Bert. Detective Bert had saw her walking, pulled her over. Her and the other cop had started you know searching her stuff, asking her questions. Because remember last week she was like, "Y'all got to be on your A game because with Neek's uh, re up being messed up, the block is at is is talking like they they want revenge." And so Detective Burke was like, hey, Laverne, I ain't playing how you know that. I need some more detail. She was like, you know, over here, snitch, snitches get stitches. I ain't finna tell you nothing. She said, I told you what you needed to what know. What you needed to she know. She said, but you didn't tell me a cop was going to mm -hmm. die. Yeah, she and said, I, I ain't saying it now. She said, I didn't say that was what going to happen. But there was a moment when after the detective, I think it was Rodriguez, had finished checking her bag and found the, uh, the thing from Nicole. The uh, envelope, mm -hmm. and he was like, "Do you want me to check this?" And she was like, "No." no so I, fine. so I still think, even though she was doing her job, she has a soft. She spot still for has that. a soft spot for Juke. So I, so now this week I kind of believe because last week I wasn't believing 
the story that she was telling Juke about her high school high school oh, I lover. That. I didn't believe it after believe she, after she flipped and was like, okay, um, tell me about D Wiz, tell me about that. I was like, oh, you just only giving her information. Um, trying to befriend her to get the information out her that you no, need. No, I think that information was, was, was facts. But, yeah, so this week I believe her, by the way, what she did because she could have easily took that letter and could have broke, um, broke, broke her heart. Broke her heart. Because that was the only <laughs> last piece she had of because you remember last week, her daddy destroyed the tape. Yeah. Crushed that up when he called her a Lebanese. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, come on now. It's like, come on, Marvin. So, now she over at, over there with Kane in the lockup. Y'all, so... She was like, he he told her, he's like, you know what I did? She was like, how you feel? Yeah, I'm, a had to, I'm a G, had to be done. She said, she said you can't sure? and cut the skit. She said, cut this tough guy boo skit. I know you. You soft. She said, she said, you, 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 you tripping right now. You you Look shook. You. you shook. And she was like, you know what? We as kids, we supposed to F up. We supposed to make mistakes. But us. We make mistakes that have to be with us for the rest of our life. Cause we live in a grown folks game. We don't know who we are, and we have. He said, she said, we don't know who we are, but we have to make choices that are stuck with us for the rest of our life. And Kana was like, Nah, nah. You know, Mama, she got me. She got you. You know, she care about us. And she was like, Kana, but she got you to take out a cop. cop. And I was like, You know what? Even though. I know that Rock loves Kanan. That's her. But I'm like, I believe she loved the game more. Uh, yeah. 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 She 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 loved the game more or what it is that she's trying to get out of the game to sacrifice him like that. Because Detective Howard could have very well killed him first. Yes. Easily. Easily. So we end up over at the hospital. Uh, because Jessica and Famous is going to visit them and they seen, you know, the cops come in there and on the stretcher with like Detective Howard and Famous was like, oh, oh, that's that cop. That's a cop. That's that cop. messing with us. So Jessica was like, come on, we got to go go see Lou. And so we see Lou up on his feet looking out the window and he like, what the hell is, what the going, hell is going on? And so when Famous and Jessica come busting up in the room, Famous was like, you know that cop got shot Detective Howard. Lou was like, Detective Howard? He said, what the he said, what the fuck? What the hell is Rock doing? He already, he already knew. He was, doof, doof. she was like, you can't leave out here. The doctor said you got about five more days. Nah, it sounded like the way he was sounding like he yeah, got he five none. more months to, to be in there. So she, so he ended up taking all the stuff off. She ended up taking him over there to see Rock. And this was when I think it really got real for their relationship. For oh, real. yes, it did. Because I, I I, knew they had a good relationship, but I had no idea that Rock thought about Lou in this way. So he she put, he come in and she was she was like, you know, y'all get out. I need to talk to my brother. He, he was came like, in with Yeah, this he kid. was like, what, the, what the F are you doing? And she was like, I got to do what I got to like, do. Why are you out? Yeah, why are you out? And I had to do what I got to do. I got to do what I got to do to win. He was like, what? He was like, wait a minute. So you willing to sacrifice your own son? No, wait a to minute. No, I'm going to get to that. I know you're talking <laughs> about. You, you going to act like you 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 going to sacrifice your own son to win? But she really didn't answer the question the way that I thought she should have answered. She was like, no, I'm doing this for us because we family. Then Lou was like, you know what? I'm out. I'm done with this kid. I, 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 ain't, I ain't doing this game no more. And she was like, no, no. Huh. So once you in this skit. You in it. You in this skit. What's yours is mine. mine. And what's mine is yours. yours. And Lou was like, wait, 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 wait. So so you threatening to me? This so that's what I thought. Yeah. I was like, so what you saying? If he want out, you putting the two bullets to his chest and one to his head? That's what I heard. Yeah. That's exactly what I heard. She was like, she kind of. She said, "There's no no out to this." Yeah, there's no out. You in? And he was like, "Well, I have the record label and the studio and all of that." She said, "My studio as yeah. well." He was like, "No, nah, this money clean." She was like, like "No, nah. everything we touch is dirty. dirty." Yeah. I was like, "Cause he was like, he 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 think like ghosts. He was like." We got enough money that we can buy up the whole goddamn block. And be legit for the rest of our life. And life. have a legit brand for our life. And she was like, no. It ain't big We enough. don't have enough. I 
I said, well, how much do you how want? How much do you want? I was like, y'all remind me of corporate America. You can never have enough money. You got to always lay people off, throw people out in the street so you can have more money. So you sacrificing your own son. No, but the part to, that, to I was going, that I was huh. interrupting you with was that he didn't know who killed who Oh, yeah, this that's guy. right. Because he thought that Marvin did it. Yeah, he was like, so you got... And when she said, I got Kanan to do it, who he was said, like, but I felt him though. I felt him though. Like he was like, "This is where I draw the line." He yeah. was like, "Your son." He said, "Matter of fact, I should have drew the line a long time ago when you yeah. had me take out a kid." Yeah. He said, "But I did that. But now yeah. you gonna put your son in this? Your only son?" I said, yep. "Come on with the Jesus your the only Christ." Son. Yep. I was like, "You know what? We never thought about it like that." Yep. You you put your own son, and I thought that he was gonna say to kill his father because Rock. And Detective Howard can't be the only ones that know that Kanan is Detective Howard. Right. Brothers know. Right. So I thought that he was going to go, go, go. hit her with that. So you got him to take out his father. Yeah. Because right now, nobody else is saying anything about that. So basically had him to do it to read with ghosts, basically. <sighs> uh, yeah. So now we see, you know, of course, this time Unique is up in the uproar. Because now his name, his name is being brought because um other boy that um I can't his his main man I can't think of his name. I can't name never right. think his name. Um, but he come back come back to the spot and bust it up in there. And I thought they were gonna bust a cap in his tail because they was they on edge now. He was I like, what's going it. on? What they saying? And he was like, you know, it's all talk. But your name, he was like, my name coming up. I've been here. He, like I've been here. The much as money and stuff I'm doing in these streets. He's Matter of fact, I protect the cops better than they protect they settle. See, because you know when we mess with the cops, all that stuff stops. So I would never ever do nothing like that. He they, said that motherfucker. He said, "Wait rock. a minute, I know who it is. It's <laughs> Rock. As cry, as grimy as Nick is, I like Nick though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Nick too. <laughs> Nick makes me sick, but I like Nick. And he said one pivotal thing. He said Rock told me that she was coming. And I ain't gonna and see I it. And I ain't coming. gonna see it. And this this was it right and here. And he said she was right. I ain't see this coming. I ain't <laughs> see that skit coming. So he's scrambling. Be like, okay, all of y'all, all y'all all ninjas go home. Don't say nothing to nobody. Don't let nobody in the house until I say so. And get the rest of them off the streets. And get the rest of them off the streets. And told his boy, hey, I need to go to my family ASAP. So then we flip and we see that from when Marvin was talking to Scrap them, he was headed on over to Unique's to plant that coat. Uh, <coughs> I like I like the part when he got to the front desk and he was like, "I'm here for a gas leak," and the guy was like, uh, "I ain't you know about that. I don't know about that." I give so Marvin was like, "Oh, okay, that's good. Go on sign right here, saying it's all good." So, so if they so up, you know, ain't on me. It ain't on me. And one thing about us. We ain't signing. You ain't gonna put <laughs> ain't that on me. No, on me. No. So he let him go up. He did his little twos. He got he got in the house and he planted the coat. And we saw Nick almost caught him. I thought Nick was gonna catch me him. Me too. It was like you know by the hair of my skin, chin to chin chin, like the three little pigs story. Almost caught him. So uh, Nick coming there. He getting all this stuff together. And the first thing I thought I thought I was like, wait a minute, Nick. There's a cop that's been shot. You know they after people like you. Shaking. Why did you bring your family through this? Why did you take the time to bring your family over there to the spot, go upstairs, pack stuff like y'all headed to Aruba on vacation, <laughs> getting all your souvenirs and you, you, all your stuff you need? I was like, when you went over there to pick her up, y'all should have hit the highway then. You got enough money to buy stuff to restart all over again? I think she met him over there. Huh? I think didn't she get out of another? Yeah, car? she did. Yeah. But she he should have went where she was and scooped, and scooped her up and headed, and on the headed right on out of town. Why? Why is you? Why is you delaying like that? I know, but I know this is a movie and everything. But but you, you see it all the time yeah. in them shows. I'm like, don't put the baby in. Just leave the baby with the grandma or something. Right. That would that would Ghost and Tasha <laughs> did. So him trying to get out of there, we saw the cops busting there, and uh, they got him. But With here was the kicker though. When he went in the closet and he saw his coat, he hey, was he like, did. he was like, oh my junk. But at first I thought he thought his girlfriend did it. But nah, nah he knew, he, he, he knew. He clicked in. He clicked in. He knew that rocked him and set him up because I guess he probably remember I left my coat in, in the car. car. I ain't bring my coat up here in the closet. Like, God. And he probably had never even realized it was missing. 
God darn. With the blood on it. And then when they bust in, he has the coat in his hand. Right. So now we got Rock trying to get in touch with Marvin because we need to get Kanan out of town. So she called him Marvin, Paige and Marvin. Marvin is not answering. So he gonna Lou, ha 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 ha. Plan ain't going as as uh plan plan ain't going as plan, huh? And then he asked her one good question. And I said, you got there right. He said, if you got, because Rock was like, I got all this under control. He was like, if you got this all under control, why in the hell does Cannon have to, Cannon have to leave town? So she panicking, but we know that Marvin got pulled over by the cops on his way from Neeks. <laughs> yeah. He got pulled over by the cops. They run his his freaking um license and come to find out he got a warrant for arrest. Drug trafficking? For, um, for possession it? possession with the intent, intent to, to distribute. And I was like, how did he get that charge? Felony. Yeah, felony. I was like, how did he get that charge? So it didn't click. It didn't click. Until. It didn't click until they took him down to the station and we saw Tony. I was like, ah, oh, Tony done turned him in. But I'm like, Tony. That's not gonna stick though. Nah, I'm like, Tony, you gonna you gonna report the guy that you getting the drugs from. What that what sense does that make? He can tell on you too. It was a setup. Yeah. But but anyway, but Rock is over there. She, it, you know, it's getting real now. Uh, Marvin's not answering, and she was like, she was looking around, was like, then it clicked. I was like, oh, she get ready to call Symphony. I said, oh, he Symphony shouldn't have answered. Uh huh. He shouldn't have never answered. So he ended up answering the call, and we saw that he ended up coming over there to pick up Kane and get him out of town. And get him out of town. But in the car when they was pulling off. The way that oh. Kanan was looking back at Juke. Like, it was he, final. Yeah. It was like, yeah. He was looking like, I don't even know if I'm going to see you again. I don't know when we're going to get together again. Because you dropped some heavy stuff in there on there. It was like, because when he was like, you know, mama got us. But she, he, she was like, I already said, she put you up to killing a cop. Yeah. Just think about it. She haven't killed the cop. Marvin haven't killed the cop. Lou haven't killed the cop. And we know Nick ain't gonna kill the cops, so none of them gonna kill cops. But you had Kanan. Your only begotten son. <laughs> Come on, Daz, preach. <laughs> huh? Only begotten son. Huh? To kill a cop. And now you gotta get him out of town. And then you gonna have the nerve to bring him to Maryland? To the DMV? To, to the DMV? You gonna bring that skin over here? No, we got no problem. <laughs> we got no problem. Yeah. So they brought him all the way up over here. To us. Yes. Matter of fact, we need to look and find out. Just don't come up over here. Mm -hmm. Don't don't pull up over here where we live. Yeah, y'all stay up that <laughs> way. Don't come this way. So we see you know, they they already gone. So we back at the hospital now, and just um Detective Burke is in there with Detective Howe. And he started moving his eyebrows. I was like, oh my this nigga's gonna make it. <laughs> Say this ninja. Is still alive. So she run over there. Who killed you? Who shot you? Who, who did it? And you could tell and him. Captain kinda, was yeah, there. Yeah. He, you know, telling you know he, he was trying to tell him that of course we knew we knew they was gonna leave that oh, as yeah, a cliffhanger. Yeah. We we knew there was a little. And then we flipped over, and I said I already thought knew that Rock was a ruthless chick. I ain't see all of this till today. But when she was up there on that thing and she was smiling and like none of this skit phased her yeah like no, like a like, social path. yeah like none of it phased like with you know the danger that Kanan is in even though she getting them out and even at the end when um uh, 50 was coming to her he was like the only person that you can trust is yourself not and, even your and you can't even mama. trust trust <laughs> and it's like and not even your own mama i said what the hell but i will say this rock's playing for getting those um, apartments on top oh, of Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that skit worked. That skit worked. So, uh -huh. when, like she said, they're going to raid the bottom one first. Yep. And then when they clear Go, uh, that, we're going to drop send, the yep. stuff right back to us. I said, y'all feel bad if they double back. Yeah. And say, we forgot something. Y'all got all the drugs down there. They had somebody bring, one of the guys bring takeout. Yeah. So that they could use the oven as if it's, what? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what the cop kept saying, what, what's wrong with this dude right here? Lou was like, I don't even I, care. He didn't even say nothing. I don't care. Yeah. It is what it is. She said, oh, car accident. Car accident. <laughs> and they didn't care. 
I said, said Lou over there looking bad. Yeah, man. he tore up. He over there. <laughs> I said, y'all need to get him back to the hospital. Not the hospital. Hospital. Y'all need yeah. to get him back. Yeah. So, um, I am um, very much for looking to looking for the next season. I don't know when they doing it. Yeah, but it had us thinking like, okay, what did Kanan get locked up for? Was it yeah. this? Yeah, was it that or was it something else? Yeah. Yeah, I, like, I, I mean, we've been doing so many goddamn powers and power books. You, it yeah, all, all run the, yeah, it's all, it's all. All run together. But I'm like, did he get caught for this or was it drugs? Yeah. So, so now you, you, yeah, I can't wait to piecemeal everything back together yeah. because now I'm like, wow. Yes. So, like I said, this was a great season of Power Book 3, Canaan. Yeah. Pleasantly like I, surprised. Yes, this was great. And like my wife said in the beginning, glad that y'all stick around and support us. And y'all get down in them comments and let us know what y'all thought about this season and about this episode. And we're going to catch y'all when Power Book 2, GOAT Season 2, come back in November. So we're going to catch y'all then straight from the VA. The Dirty, Dirty South. Two up, two down. Holla! Woo!